Alright, seven days ago I made a video about all of the new updates to this incredible script made by Setsen called Paranormal Effects Router. In that video I went over a bunch of updates that he just made in two days. So now it has been seven days from that video and you can imagine how many new things there are that just make this script even crazier. And I just can't keep up with all this changes and all these new improvements make it so so fun to use by the way this image describes the developer so well this is Zetsan. he's a king he's incredible go support him and let's go with the changes oh before we start i wanted to show you i made a design of what i think will be the best way to integrate this script natively to reaper i'm pushing for this script to be native to reaper uh so i made this mock-up of having the fetch chain and having this little button here to change the view from the tree view, the conventional view, to the node based view, which would be Paranormal FS Router. I think that would be much better. And also, I made some suggestions of how I think it would be a better way to see the parallel indicators in the tree view. And also, toggle collapse containers. I think this would be a much better implementation of containers in Reaper. Um, if you like this or have more ideas i left the link in the description so you can comment or support the idea it's because i would so love to see this integrated at least the toggle collapse containers don't make it much better to work with instead of like this thing just like what is this all right let's go over the changes let's open up paranormal effects router and the first thing I want to show you is that there's a new way of splitting bands. The old way is still here and you can still use it, but these are more flexible. They include a linear phase mode and two toggable slops. This was highly requested and very welcome. Let's for example load the three band splitter. And you will notice right away the best feature of all is that you can change the crossover frequency right from here. You don't have to open any plugin. I mean, you can, but you can control it right from here. And this makes it so, so comfortable when you solo the band and you want to adjust the frequency, you just do it from here. And if you want linear phase mode, you can check the spots right here. And if you want to change the slope, just do it from here. That's all it is. And then you want to change the band to here. So do this and this. It's very simple to use now. It's it's way better than before. And if you open up the plugin, you even have more options for the linear phase. You can set it to high or ultra or just normal and just leave it there. And yeah, it's just so comfortable. And when you hit the limit, like you hit the same frequency, you will notice this little animation like saying that, hey, you can't go past that frequency. So that's, that's cool. And same thing with the other way so yeah very comfortable to use very much like that now if you find yourself that your view is getting too cluttered there's a new option to collapse containers right over here if you press it it's gonna hide all the contents inside a container so it makes it so you get a super clean view of everything and you can just click to expand it or hide it it makes it so everything looks nice and neat and if you go to user settings you can go over here to this option peak collapse container so that makes it so when you hover your mouse over the container you will see the contents inside which is very very handy another really handy thing is that you can now enclose two or more plugins that you have running in parallel in a container and to do so you can right click over here and you'll get this option to enclose lane into a container and that just puts everything into a container and another amazing feature is that you can right click over here and explode if you don't want these in a container anymore however you're only able to do this with containers that are running in series if you do this with containers that are running in parallel it's not gonna work it's gonna say non-explodable and that's a reaper thing there's no native feature that can do this as of now another feature is that you can use your mouse wheel over here where you can select your track to go to the previous track the next track and so forth this makes it super super comfortable to just go through the different effects for your tracks in right here. And if you don't want to go to other track, you can simply lock it and use this menu over here to go to other tracks if you want. And you can still use your mouse wheel over here 
while still being locked. So yeah, that's it for now. So that was seven new features in just seven days. That's just insane to me. So support the developer and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.